Hello guys, welcome to a new vlog in this channel. Today uh, we're not going to play 18 holes, today we're going to practice, okay? And uh, what I'm going to do is um, go uh, to Kayawa Island. I really recommend you this course if you want to practice and you just start it in the game. And uh, what I'm just going to do is uh, play hard hole locations, very fast greens, and I'm going to put low wind, okay? Um, I put very fast because usually the challenges or the tournaments, they'll, they will either have very fast or tournament, okay? So just very fast should be a good practice speed for the greens. Hard because you want to practice on hard locations, all right? And low wind because you want to know, study your shots without wind. Then you will add or take away distance according to wind, okay? So we're going to go to hole number one in Kayawa Island and we're gonna practice all the parts of the game. First of all, um, driving, it's, you know, it's very easy to drive in this game. You just, uh, when, when it comes to driving, what you wanna uh, take into account is where you wanna put the ball, okay? So here I can see that uh, this screen has wasteland on this side, so it's going to be a much easier approach if I'm coming from the left side of the fairway, then I'm taking the wasteland out of play, right? And uh, in order to do that, I just have to aim to the right, okay? So my tee shot is going to be to the left side here, and there's no wind, but if there was wind, I would have to know uh, where it's going to land if the wind is affecting. For example, if it comes from the left, then I want to aim uh, on the rough, but not, not too much on the rough, just enough on the rough. So it's closer to the left as much as uh, it can, okay? With, without win, we're just gonna aim here, yeah? And uh, yeah, with this, with this win, it's gonna be maybe two, 285, I would say, so 285. You need to know the total distance of your driving. A perfect stroke and hopefully we'll be on the left side perfect so yeah 285 exactly so now uh check at this check check out this approach this approach is perfect okay i don't i can't look at the back angle well this approach is perfect because even if i miss short i'm okay if i miss long i'm obviously okay because the this whole location uh, has a good miss past the pin, okay? And um, if I miss it right, I don't have the, bun the bunker. I can land here and have a chip to the, to the flag, same to the left. So this is definitely the best spot. And this is what we need to look for when it comes to these shots and driving the ball. Now we have the approach. Now I have the, um, I can see it's 86 yards to the pin, okay? No danger around the pin whatsoever. It's 79 to carry the green. So, yeah. So it's um, about eight yards to miss and even more to the front. So now we're going to see the wind. There's no wind here today, but well, no wind. Two to four miles per hour will add maybe one, one or two yards in the carry. Okay. So I'm already taking back. 84 yards to 84 yards. That's going to be my shot. No elevation whatsoever. So if I look at my uh, club bag, I have 80 yards with the lob wedge. I have with the 52 degree, the sandwich, I have 105. So in this case, when, when it comes to wedges, if you, wanna, if you don't know how to calculate distance, the easiest thing to do is to punch it because a punch with these wedges is gonna be almost as high, okay? It's with the three, four, and five iron, we will notice that a punch shot is super flat, okay? So if we do a punch shot with the 52 wedge, I have 87 yards. So what I need to do is to calculate 10% of this, because I have the shot pal here. 10% is gonna be 8.7 yards. So if I take out 10%, that's going to be 79 yards, more or less, okay? So we want, to, we want to hit 84. So it's going to be somewhere 
in the middle 94%. Now I'm gonna backspin it because it's gonna go higher. And this should be the distance, okay? Now that's gonna be the total. All right, so we're gonna add a little bit more because it's gonna be, uh, because the total distance is not the same as the carry, okay? But yeah, 96% should be the shot here. Let's see what happens. Okay, I pulled the shot and uh, it went even shorter, okay? So from here we would chip and uh, get an up and down for par, okay? But since we're practicing, we're gonna get to know our shots. We take a mulligan, okay, since it's practicing, and uh, we're just gonna repeat the shot, okay? Hit the same again. And if I get the sweet spot, this is gonna be near the hole. Perfect, much better. And now you will see it'll land on the green. Exactly, you see, and it rolls. So you see, this was an 84 yard. I did the calculations uh, right, but it carries 79, okay? So if, uh, if I'm calculating uh, an 84 carry, I'm gonna be hitting 80, not, not a, a 84, I'm gonna be hitting 86, 87, okay? So if we correct this, and we, uh, we punch it again. Let's just target the pin. You will see that now, if we go 98%, this is gonna be a much better shot. Okay, now it was pushed. Still a good miss, okay? Let's try to get the sweet spot so you guys see the difference. Punch, back spin it. Somewhere here. Ah, still pushed. But yeah, you see now it's the exact distance we needed. Okay, 85, we had 86. And now it comes uh, time to putt, okay? When it comes to the putting, you need to see how's the trajectory, like the putt trajectory. If it's down, you see it's going uphill here so we're gonna have to put just a little bit more okay and uh, once we know we have to put a little bit more then we're gonna look at the line checking with the white dots okay the white dots are, are barely moving okay we're going uh, uphill yeah and um, what we're gonna do is hit it straight okay maybe just a little bit to the edge here because we see the dots are kind of like, you see dots are moving to, towards the left, okay? This is a bad angle. You need to have a good angle. That means you should fit, um, how do I say it? You, you should fit a whole line of squares in between the ball and the, the hole, okay? So now I see it's just a little bit to the left. So we're gonna just spot, we, we have the recommendation here but just preview your putts, okay? Now if I hit, um, this is gonna be 11.5 feet, this is nine, 10, exactly the recommendation. I'm gonna get to see what my putt is gonna do. And perfect, that is the, that is the, the putt I need. So now I just, I just putt it, okay? And this is how we would practice the holes, okay? If, uh, you're gonna spend, much more time on the approach because that's the most important part to get the ball close to the pin for a birdie opportunity. Driving the ball is just studying the spots you wanna be on the course. So if you are planning on playing Kayawa Island, practice 18 holes and you know, hitting, um, taking mulligans, get to know where you want to be, try different shots, try different approaches, see what works best for you. And then next time you play this course for real, real play, then you're gonna be scoring much lower, okay? Let's just do one more hole, and then we will be done for today. So here, in uh, this part five, we, we wanna be as close as we can to that car path there. 
now we barely win, we barely not win at all. Um, we are going to be able to target wh wherever we want. We're going to be carrying this for sure. This maybe not. So we're going to aim here and just get it close to that car, car pass. Okay, we played this, the first block I ever published. So you guys know how we played this hole. And uh, yeah, well, the wind maybe stopped it a little bit. That's okay. Now from here in this par five, I can't go for the green. I could, you know, I could try to go for the green because it's even a little bit down, one feet down, but the wind, it's blowing. There's a slight breeze against us. So what we what we would have to do is to lay up, but I'm just gonna I'm just gonna show you what happens if I hit the shot. It's definitely not gonna get there. And then I get to know it's not gonna get there. So when I find this scenario again, I'm not gonna go for the green and get greedy. What I'm gonna do is to put the ball here, especially because from there, we have a very nice third, uh, second approach, and we take all the bunkers out of play. And we only have the green and the, the fairway. So I'm gonna hit the three wood here, and that's gonna be the best position to be. Oof, okay. My screen uh, froze a little bit. Sorry about that. Let me, let me just repeat the shot, take Mulligan. Let me just repeat the shot. We're going to be here. And uh, I'll. Uh, well, that's okay. It's going to be a good miss. Sometimes my screen freezes. I don't know why. But yeah. Anyway, so now we have 61 yards. This is a very comfortable approach. We have no danger whatsoever. And uh, when it comes to this approach, if we hit a punch in this case, I have 65 yards to the punch. Now to do 61, we need to carry it maybe 58, 57. So to carry 58, 57, it's 13 inches uh, up. This wind is gonna stop it just a little bit, maybe half a yard or one yard maximum. So I'm gonna hit this shot like, um, yeah. If 10% is 6.5, that's gonna be 59.5. No, sorry, 58.5. So we need to hit maybe 93, 94%, okay? This would be, um, yeah, this would be the, the carry. Okay, so we're gonna hit 93, 94%. And uh, let's see what happens, okay? Bit bold, but that's okay. Throw a good shot. And uh, we did the calculation right. Now, how come I pulled it and uh, I still got it close to the hole? It's because of the slopes. If you take a look at the slopes here, Missing to the left is a good miss because look at the white dots. It's going to make the ball roll to the right. If we are confident about our position, we just aim to the left of the spin and we just try to hit it in the middle. And that should be good enough. Okay, so let's just go for it again. Now it's a bit pushed, but still a good miss. And all of these spots are good birdie opportunities, okay? Now this is a very easy putt, it's 4.5. Actually, you can preview putt just in case when you practice. It's always to preview putts all the time. And um, I'm just gonna hit 7.5 and see if it gets in the hole. Exactly, so I, I don't even need to take care of, the, of starting the break. I'm just gonna hit it hard and put it in the hole. Because the faster I putt, the less the break is gonna take action. And this is the tutor tutorial for today. As I said in other blogs, I'm, uh, I'm not an expert. I'm not the best player in the game, but I've been playing some time. I've really worked on the game. I've been studying 
shots a lot. And uh, for you guys who have just started playing the game, I think this is going to be very uh, useful for you, for you all. And um, don't try to make it difficult. Go practice. Get to know the course. Get to know what, what spots you want to be. And then study your play. All right? I hope you liked it. If you liked it, like and share. Drop a comment below if you liked it as well. Let me know which course would like me, would you like me to play next, and we will do that. If no one uh, drops a comment, I'll just play Chambers Bay. Okay, Chambers Bay will be the next course we play because uh, I have I have never scored low in this course, and I think uh, it's uh, something I really want to make happen. I've never scored lower than seventy in this course, I think. And yeah, and we'll be playing all the courses in this game in the next uh, vlogs in the channel. So yeah, have a great day. Hope you guys are safe in the pandemic of the COVID-19, the Corona, and see you next time. Cheers.